Okay, in this lecture, we're going to learn the navigation and the display options of 3D garment window. So let's start from the navigation. If you hold Alt and left mouse, you are going to zoom in or zoom out. If you just hold right mouse button and drag, you kind of rotating your view. Or if you middle mouse drag, you are panning or tracking your view. So this is the default navigation inside MD. But what I like is Marvel's designer offers your presets, some presets like Maya and Max. If you are used to those softwares, then you can choose those options inside settings and user settings. Go to view controls and you can choose from here. Now you can see it's default. You click here. That's a drop down list. You can choose Maya. In this case, I'm choosing Maya because I'm more comfortable in Maya. Next, see uh, this display options over here. The first thing is if you mouse over here, like you get a lot of options here, just click to activate one. You can see there is a little orange dot uh, which shows which is active or which is deactive or disabled. Just um, the orange, bright orange is active, just to know you. Um, just click this to hide or show the garment here it has a shortcut as well you can see if you go to display and you go to 3d garment here I, yeah you can see that's under show garment shift c you can just check that out just shift c okay the next option is the pressure point or yeah so in this case we can't see anything there are a lot of options you can see right now because maybe we have not selected something or some like that so in this case i'm just going overview this is the seam line you can see if you look at closely you can see the seam line is there just take me okay and you can choose uh, multiple options here it's not either or you can choose multiple options and now this option is the internal lines and obviously you don't know what is an internal line in the future lessons we are going to see these things and this is the seam thread lines and so so on so forth there's some option you don't know right now that's fine we can cover later and in the second category it's uh, all about after you can see just let me go back here and you can see for the first click it's like so high the after set a is the shortcut and you can select this option which is arrangement points we use these arrangement points to arrange a pattern very quickly and the third option is the bounding box there and the fourth is x-ray joints so kind of things and the last one of the measurement yeah so you can turn off the measurement to measure visually here and the third is all about maps you know, if you click here just let me go back to the and just turn off all these options and if you like for example stain map it shows you where the cloth is tight or loose the green is loose the red is tight and the in between is loose or semi tight or something like that or you can choose from here it's a without color cloth and you can choose only the mess you can see or transparent so it doesn't affect your cloth it's just a display option and the third option is again you can just uh, turn off the texture mode and you can always show polygons there or this is the texture mode so these are different display options regarding uh, this 3D garment window here. And in the next lesson, we're going to see the 2D garment and some of the way to create garments. Before that, let me show you if I select 2D garment, 2D garment the navigation is same except the tumble or rotate because it's a 2D, you cannot rotate this view. And we have the toolbar here, 2D toolbar. It has a lot of options to create and edit different patterns so we're gonna see 
all those things in the next lecture and let me stop this lecture here and see you in the next lecture